about naming covalent compounds. And there are so many covalent compounds that we're just gonna do a very slim sliver of the chemistry onion for this naming. But it will get us significantly farther towards preparing for um, life and general chemistry. Binary molecular compounds of two metals. It turns out there are many combinations. So as I mentioned in a previous lecture outline video, we're going to need number prefixes for these. And uh, let's start with the number prefixes here. Um, half is actually only for hydrated compounds, which is coming up next, but we're still going to do it. You can't have half in any one of these, but you can later. So anyway, half, the prefix is hemi. Uh, one is mono. Two and three are di and tri. Four is where we uh, get to the Greek numbering systems. Tetra, penta, and then hexa and hepta. And finally, octa, nona, and deca. And the numbers keep going from there, but these are the only ones you're going to see. Now, when you name binary molecular compounds using these, there are a couple other rules, and I'll put those rules up here. So one, if there's one of the first compound, don't, or for the first element, don't use mono. If there's one of the first element, don't use mono. And the classic example of that is that falls under this is CO2. It is not monocarbon dioxide. It is just carbon dioxide. Number two is going to be uh, if you get AO or OO, take away the first letter. If you get AO in any of these names or OO, take away the first letter. And we'll see that coming up. Um, let's give it a shot and see how we do. So NO, one nitrogen, no mono. This is nitrogen monoxide. Where we would have gotten monooxide, which would be double O, but we took away one of those O's to get monoxide. And if you think about it, monoxide, I don't know, it does not roll off the tongue for me. But uh, so that may, but I have done this a little bit. So nitrogen monoxide, NO2 is going to be nitrogen dioxide. IO always stays, you never take away an I rules to live by in chemistry and life. Never take away an I. Here we go. This is going to be dinitrogen monoxide. And I'm going to stack them up to save space. So, um, but these are two separate words, one word, and dioxide is one word. Let's say dinitrogen is one word. Monoxide is a second word. All of these have two word names. Oh, the third rule is that the second element always ends in IDE. Which is similar to the monatomic ions, 
and that can get confusing. We will work through it and we will practice till we know. Um, di nitrogen tetroxide, it should be, you know, it comes out as tetraoxide, but we have an AO, so it becomes tetroxide. Di nitrogen. Tetrox. Right. A couple other examples. We get sulfur hexafluoride. Which is actually <laughs> a relatively common compound, believe it or not. Uh, I don't think this one is. Uh, I think I just made this one up. Disulfur decoxide. Sorry about that. All right. Disulfur deck oxide. More practice. Please complete these as part of your lecture outline.